Hi guys, welcome back to Lucky's 3D Studio. In this video, let's take a look at this iBoss Polyfemus filament dryer sent to me by iBoss. I received the Polyfemus dryer itself and this mystery box and I think I have an idea what would be inside but let's get back to that later. Now let's unpack this box. In the box, you'll find the product manual, some spare parts and a PTFE tube, the cable and the heating base, and the acrylic panels with the frames. The assembly process itself is super easy, there's no really way you can mess it up. Now let's take a look at the heating base. You have the screen at the front and the air intake at the bottom. This is where the air gets sucked in, heated by the heating unit inside the base and then blown out through these vents. So let's plug in the cable and turn it on. By long pressing the settings button, you can switch between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. Press the option button to change the filament type. There are 9 profiles in total, each with its own pre-saved drying settings. However, you can adjust the temperature, heating level and drying time by pressing the settings button and customizing them to your needs. Now what's really cool about this dryer is, you can press this rotate button here to activate the spool rotation function during drying, which ensures that your spool is evenly heated. So let's use the dryer to dry this wet matte bamboo lab PLA filament. I used it to print the prototype of this temper handle which I featured in my previous video and it had some stringing issues. Now before we dry this filament, let's print this model. As expected, you can see some stringing on the model. Now I'm gonna dry this filament for 6 hours at 50 degrees Celsius. You also want to make sure that the vent is open so the humidity can escape while you dry your filament. One thing that I notice is that at the lowest heating level, this dryer is really quiet. And I love how the spool gets rotated every 3 seconds so every part of the filament evenly gets heated. Now that's done, let's take out the spool and reprint our model. As you can see, our model looks a lot cleaner with less to no stringing at all. So let's unbox this mystery box which I showed earlier in the video. As I expected, this is the expansion kit for a 3kg spool. I was hoping it would come pre-assembled, but I kinda understand why it doesn't. To install this expansion kit on the enclosure of the dryer, we need to undo the screws here first. Then let's assemble the expansion kit, use these long screws to put everything together. The expansion kit adds 40mm of height to the enclosure, allowing you to fit 3kg spool inside. The dryer has 7 filament outlets, 2 at the front where the screen is, 2 at the back, and 3 on top. This means that you can fit your printer from the dryer while it's drying your filament. Just make sure that the rotate function is turned off. So if you are looking for an affordable dryer that rotates your spool while drying, this might be the one for you. In fact, iBoss is one of the first companies that introduced the rotational filament dryer. Now there are two compartments here in the base where you can put some desiccant packs in in case you want to use this as a storage for your filaments, but the whole system itself isn't airtight, like the enclosure just sits loosely on the heating base like this, so I probably wouldn't use this to store my filaments. That said, this dryer also features an automatic drying function, so you can use it for storage if you have it activated. The dryer will then turn on on its own and continuously dry the filament and the air inside once the humidity rises above that threshold you've set. Or you can use this filament vacuum seal packs and store your dried filaments inside them. iBoss also sells these and they come with a small USB vacuum pump which is a really neat add-on. If you're interested to get these, make sure to check out the links below. So I hope this video is helpful to you guys and don't forget to leave a like and a comment and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one.